Okay, I am riding right now. I've got a chauffeur, which granted, I don't want y'all to think I didn't drive any. I've driven, what, about halfway? Yeah, I, I think that's a, a yes. But uh, no, we are headed for the opener uh, in Kentucky right now. We have been tickled to death looking at bean fields. I wonder if there's no deer out there. It's, it's like 522 right now, so deer haven't started moving too much in the fields, but we're hoping to get up there to be able to watch a couple of fields that we've got kind of an eye on, but easing that way, uh, gonna be in a stand in the morning. It's kind of surreal to be uh, hunting this early from where we're from, but uh, put in a lot of work this summer uh, to uh, to get here. Uh, got like 13 cameras out, um, and they've been pretty dead. Um, been pretty dead haven't uh, had too much activity I've had one camera that's doing pretty good uh, probably hunt there tomorrow if the winds right but I uh, really want to check out this other area um, we are gonna get up there get our place get some sleep we'll get after it in the morning so we'll uh, see y'all in just a little bit two bucks right there. I don't think I'd shoot one of them. But uh, this is an old food plot right here. Mm -hmm. There's clover underneath all this and that's what they were eating. They had their heads down and then picked them up. Two young deer. But there's a little hole of woods right here that I think that's where they're holding in. So maybe walk this real quick and maybe right here in the morning. The, I don't know if I can get through this. Let me get to those woods over there. I'm gonna go down a little bit. God, that's rough. Okay, we are headed back to the truck. That was a success. I couldn't video much there um, because of the light. Y'all can see I'm pretty fuzzy right now. But I got out of that thicket and came back over here to watch some beans and there's a pretty good one out there. Pretty stinking good one. It'll be hard to kill. So, it's the first morning in Kentucky. We are getting dressed up and ready to go. Uh, we got some eyes on some deer yesterday afternoon, as I told y'all before. Um, I'm gonna try to kind of go in there and play off of one of them uh, to a spot. I mean, I've, I've walked to it within 200 yards, but never seeing what the woods look like. So I'm gonna to try to get in the woods. I was gonna to go to kind of a CRP place, but we've got a south wind today and it just kind of doesn't set up right. So we'll just sit here tall and he just came in. Hey. It's his first year in Kentucky. He's ready to go. Have you seen anybody else this morning? Yeah, there's, a few there's one guy. So maybe it'll just be a quiet crowd. My camera's gonna fog up here for a sec. Moon's out. Yeah. Let me see. Whoa. Hey. You only got four arrows. <laughs> I don't know if y'all heard that. Andrew just like racked his arrows all across the ceiling fan. Dropped off 
No, what are you doing? We dropped off. I'm the only one at the gate, which it's early. It's like it's 417. So I am gonna just ease in here. And I think there's probably a bed on this point that I'm gonna get to. The moon is high right now, so that's I feel like that's pretty good for us. So I'm gonna slip on back here. I hope I got everything. Found some pretty good brows in here. Gotta push a little further. circling back to where I originally was because I found one some brows there's a pretty good trail right here and there's this thicket but um the big thing that I just noticed I was here for a while there's a red oak tree right here and it's dropping occasionally so I'm hoping these deer have already found it and come check it out this morning but we're gonna sit in the dark for a little while and we'll uh we'll see what happens on the first hunt here in Kentucky He just went down. Oh, I just smoked a giant on the first day. Just smoked a giant. Oh, I just tagged out in Kentucky on the first freaking morning. Oh, 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 I don't even know what was in the bag. Don't even know what was in the bag. Don't even know what was in the bag. Oh, my God. Oh, I... I just shot a big one. Good for you. Oh, I just shot a big one. Did you make a good shot? Yes, yeah, he already went down. Oh, Matthew, that's great. Yep, yep. I don't know how I don't know how good the video is, uh -huh. but he was at 10 yards, came in behind me. Did just what I thought they'd do. There were three <laughs> of them. That's great. Man. Yep, that's yep. A lot of work so, paid off. Yep, well, go back to sleep. I just... Oh! <laughs> I can't believe that just happened, Daddy. Cannot believe it. Congratulations.
situation. That's okay. great. Oh, I love you. Send me a pic. I love you too. Let's see. Bye. Oh, buddy. Oh, not much. Just hanging in the tree. Did you say you hunted this morning? Well, I got up to go, and then it's so hot right here today. Yeah. I'm just, yeah. Well. We yeah. actually drove. We drove to, this, to an area, and I was like, dude, I'm not feeling Yeah, I don't blame you. You got a long road ahead of you. Um, so what's the, Let me tell you a story. Yeah, you called me at 646 in the morning. I just shot a giant. Huh? No, you didn't. And then turned broadside, and I freaking smoked him. Was he in velvet? Yes. Hell yeah, come on, dude. Yep. That's awesome. Yep. Tucked it right behind the shoulder, I'm pretty sure, and I think I heard him go down. Was he a good one? Yeah, yeah, he's my biggest deer ever. Is he your 120? Yeah. How in the world did that just happen? I, I was all pumped until I start thinking about my shot. I know. And then I get nervous. 15 yards, quartered away. Quartered to two with just a tad, a hair. <laughs> Uh, a hair. Then I think my air was stuck in at least halfway. So what this deer did, there's this CRP all over here. I saw a tail flicker right here. And I turned around, turned all my cameras on. And this joker walked, jumped the creek right here, and then walked right, right freaking here. He walked right here, and then... I stopped him right there and shot him. So when I shot him there, he then ran out this way. And see that light? I think he's dead right there. That's where I think he's dead. So. <sighs> How do I find this deer, y'all? <laughs> Y'all know how much this will mean to me. And if I talk about it too much, I'll get freaking choked up. But, uh, this means the world if I find this deer. It means the world. And then I get to spend the rest of this week filming my buddies. I've got my, my, my best friends here. I'm, I'm, I'm still missing a few uh, that I wish were on the hunt. If you're watching this, you should be here. Maybe you'll come next time. But, uh, God, I finally calmed down a little bit. I've been on the phone for the last 20 minutes, calling my dad, Parker Walt. I think there was a deer right there. No. But, um, calling Parker Walt, Brett. Putting it on our polo for those guys to see it. And, um, God, I just, it's always, for me, when I shoot a deer, it's always on the, like, gotta find him. Got to find him. Um, but is it 15 yards? I mean, just, just stupid. But yesterday afternoon, I came here. Our cameras have been just dead. Hardly any activity. Nothing nothing going on. And I um, went to some areas yesterday afternoon that I'd never scouted or anything like that. And just had kind of a feel. Well, I take that back. We saw three big bucks when we came back up, up here in July and scouted. But didn't put a camera out. And I walked it. I found a deer stand, a uh, cell camera. End up seeing two smaller bucks. Um, but as I was coming out, I got to looking at a bean field and uh, saw three deer in it. One that was a really nice buck. And uh, that kind of just stuck in my head last night. So I watched my map, watched my map, dropped a pin on this area. It was between this draw or the draw up. Um, but I looked at it on Topo, and this one had kind of a gradual... Um, a gradual hill that went to the uh, CRP. So I was like, that's going to be, be my best bet. So found some trails and whatnot coming in. I may have shown you all that. I can't remember if I got the footage. Um, but got up here, and it just seemed like it was just a cluster morning, you know, the opening morning hunt. You haven't really run through your setup that much. Um, it's kind of like, hey, I'm just going to 
almost feel like you're burning a hunt just to get in the swing of deer season. That's how I felt. Um, but we got up here, we climbed the tree, we were dripping sweat. I mean, my hat's all stained. Hey, I like those hats. Um, but uh, finally cooled off, had a deer come in, and then those deer. I mean, there were three of them. I don't, I don't know what the other two were. I don't care. I don't care what the other two were. That head deer is my biggest deer. Um, he had the biggest body, from what I could tell of all of the deer, just from what I saw. But it happened fast. Um, I usually pride myself in getting deer on my main camera. That was that was not possible today. I was not risking um, not being clipped on to not kill this deer because. I've worked too hard, we've all spent too much time scouting, our wives have sacrificed, we got a lot of things going on, and to not capitalize on that, man, I'd have been sick, so I got some sick GoPro footage, that's probably what y'all saw, but um, Andrew and Holland are still hunting, they've seen a couple does this morning, and I really want to get down there and look at that deer. But I'm not, I'm going to get out of that sunlight, I'm not going to go look at him because I don't want to miss a moment getting too excited over this. I am, I'm going to ease down. I may go look and see if there's some blood just for, for my purposes. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's a double long shot. I didn't get a complete pass through, um, but I'm going to get down. I'm going to wait on Andrew and Holland. They're going to come in here. They're going to experience this with me. Uh, we're going to have a good time together because um, they're up here with me. I'm here to share this with them. Uh, they're my buds. And uh, we're going to share it with our Marco Polo and everybody else. But that's what we want to do. Um, so I'm going to start kind of putting some things up and getting down. He's dead. Yeah, he's dead. That, finding that blood made me feel a lot better. So that was quick, quick, quick bleeding. What'd you do? I shot one. Did you? Yeah. Oh, boy. He did that thing with the fist again. Oh, boy. Bloody, bloody knuckles. Freaking the. Mmm. I can. They, I started crying just a second ago thinking about it. I. Because it's. It's a lot. I got. Now, <laughs> I got I'll get, chills. I'll get there too. It's a big deer. Yeah. Yeah. It's a big deer. So. so. Holland said he was on his way. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not walking back all the way there. No, no. We'll sit. We'll sit in the shade and just kind of soak it up because yeah. I'm not in a hurry. We got the good deer cart. I was uh, telling them again, I'm probably <laughs> probably going to cry, but hey, that's okay. It's just my reaction, but I guess we got to, y'all ready to go find the deer? Let's go. Let's, Let's go it. find the deer. Yeah, huh? That was the first bit of blood right there. Yeah. Can I see all that? Look at 
Oh yeah. Don't walk around much, okay? Yep, I got blood yeah. here. I think he cut. Yeah, there's some right here. He's bleeding out of both sides. Is that blood on the tip? Yeah. Yeah, look at all that. This is going to be a hard freaking track, boys. Until you find him! Until you find him laying right there! <laughs> <laughs> Until you find him! Oh my gosh! Boys! It's a freaking a drop, drop time! time. <laughs> he's got a drop time! <laughs> get over here, get over here! Look at that! Look at that thing! <laughs> Yo! That's a giant! That is a giant! Oh my god. Oh. Get her up! Get her up! <laughs> oh yeah! Whoa! Come on with it! Hold him back up. Look at that. What do you think about Look at that? that? That is. What you thinking? That is insane! That is insane! That's a big one. It is big. Hey. I found him. Yeah, you want to see him? Here. Eric, he has killed a stud. With a drop time. God. Look at that, Daddy. That, uh, is that velvet? Yeah. yeah. That's a pretty amazing figure. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get him on the camera? Uh, on which camera? On any of your trail cameras? No, sir. I'm nowhere near my trail cameras right now. Are you... Did he go that far in that opening or what? No, he went 80 yards from where I shot him. Y'all rolled him out there? No, he died right here. Okay, that's what I mean. He just busted. Yeah, the wood line just, the... when he got to it, I was afraid that he was going to be gone. Mm -hmm. But he didn't go far at all. Pick him up again. Let me see. <laughs> Take a screenshot, Daddy. Oh, how? Um, Click the power button in the zoom, uh, power and volume. 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 Oh, I got it. I may, wait, let me do that one. All right. Man, what? He's got a freaking drop time. Very blessed. Very blessed, guys. Thank y'all. Found him. Bigger dude than I thought he was, actually. So, really excited about that. Really excited. Really blessed. So.